everybody, and welcome back to another video from Danica Blue 43. And today we're gonna be doing an overview of the recent Cars 3 official trailer. Yes, another trailer for Cars 3. Finally, another trailer. It's been like two months since the last trailer. The last one was in February. We finally got another trailer. I cannot wait to get into this now. Just so you guys know, this isn't a reacting of it. I already watched it. It was amazing. And just so you know, if you have not watched it yet, please click off this video and watch the trailer before you watch this because this goes over the entire trailer. So I have a feeling that you probably want to watch the trailer than me doing the overview of it. So click off the video right now if you haven't seen the trailer. But if you have, watch, sit back, relax, and enjoy the vid as I go over what happened in this trailer. And just so you guys know, the photo and the thumbnail of the of Pixar's thumbnail for this trailer did not actually appear in the you know video for the trailer. So let's get right into it. You are about. To as you can see right here, here's a new scene with some boats and stuff. Kind of reminds me of Italy, but it's definitely not Italy. That actually looks to be the Florida 500, which probably is. And just hear what this guy says right here. Become the biggest brand in racing. He said you're about to be the biggest brand in racing or something like that. But I'll stop talking a little bit and let you guys enjoy it for a while. And go over the most important stuff. <laughs> And here is a brand new shot of some Lightning McQueen merchandise. As you can see, there's Lightning McGrill. There's a Kachow logo right there on the right-hand corner of the screen. Lightning McQueen. You can see an art of Lightning McQueen in the Rusty's Racing Center paint shop. Really determined. And other things that says Kachow and stuff. Maybe that's like a food brand or something. Not entirely sure. There's another one as well. Infomercials. Product endorsements. And if you guys are wondering, that guy in the background talking is actually Sterling, and they show him quite a bit in this trailer. He's about to appear in the next few seconds. Here's some other stuff right in the lower left-hand corner. You can see Bolt 500, Mr. McLean, which is a reference to Mr. Clean in real life. They have Light McQueen on it. They're basically those wash things. They have it in yellow, purple, and green. And he has these jars that kind of look like 5-hour energy stuff on the right corner. It says Engine, Go Team, Bolt 500 again. So something similar. And right there he said good child if you were wondering. And these shots I'll let you enjoy them right now. So I'm going to stop talking for a little while. Think you're famous now? <laughs> we'll be rich beyond belief. Mr. Sterling, what is this about? Your legacy. Every time you lose, you damage yourself. This is another new shot, and I gotta say that I absolutely love what Sterling's saying. It's really emotional. I almost cried. I'm gonna be completely honest. I almost made a tear after the end of the trail. This trail is so emotional. Brings me back to my childhood memories so much. And I'll show you guys something that's really cool. Look at the racer right there with that frightening face on his face, getting freaked out because Lightning McQueen just flew into the air and just crashed. That's actually 10 trails. I know it's really hard to see. But you can see the designs of the next generation nitrate racer, which is Tim Treadless. So that is Tim Treadless right there. Very, very awesome. I'm sorry. Your racing days are coming to an end. And right here, I'm about to show you a bunch of shots of McQueen crashing. Really horrifying. We can only hope that this race to... As you can see right here, if you look closely, you can see Mater, Luigi, Guido, and Sally right there watching McQueen just crash and all the police and the hospital and the ambulance coming. They're there. Today wasn't his last. I decide when I'm done. How you feeling? This is a new shot as well. Sally going into the shed right here. Ask McQueen how he's feeling. And now, I'm not sure what this shed, where the shed exactly is, but I'm pretty sure that this is actually in Doc's old garage that McQueen wasn't allowed to go to where he found out Doc had the piston cups and stuff. So I think this is where it is. It all looks very similar. Even the background where Sally's opening, everything makes sense. And plus, the doors look similar as well. And if you're wondering why McQueen looks gray, that is his gray paint job that... It's probably his repair paint shop because since he got damaged and went to the hospital, most likely, they probably he probably had to scrape off all his designs, so he's just plain. I can't go out on the track and do the same old thing. It won't work. 
And here you can see some more shots as well as Radiator Springs, Flovia Cafe and stuff. And you see Mac leaving Radiator Springs, probably off to another race. Of course, Lightning Queen has to be in it. It's futile to resist change, man. Right here you can see Fillmore and Star. Fillmore saying it's, it's, I forgot what he said, but he said it's something to resist change, man. I forgot what he said. He's like, it's fertile or something. I don't remember. And on the side, you can see Red and Flo, and they are in Flo's Via Cafe. You know what I do? Here is Mater's junk car, and this is actually a funny scene. It's supposed to be like a joke or something. What? I don't know. I got nothing. I am so excited to try. This is another new scene. Of uh, Mac go into the Rusty's Racy Center, and this is where Cruz makes her first appearance in this trailer. You, I like a challenge. <laughs> I call you my senior project. On your mark, get set. So as you can see from here, it looks like Luigi and Guido's actually with Lightning and Cruz to help him trim. As you can see, Guido's the flag waver. He's holding a green flag. Pretty cool. And Lightning and Cruz are starting off. This really reminds me of the scene Cars 1 when Doc and, and McQueen were racing in Willie's View. So nice. This might actually be a reference to that. And there goes Guido back there. If you're wondering why I talked about him, but he didn't appear. There he is right there. This is actually another funny scene. The beach ate me. Jackson Storm set a new record today when he pulled off the fastest lap ever recorded. Now, if you guys see in the back of Jackson Storm, someone on the Disney Cars and Planes community on Google Plus, I believe his name's Eric Speedtire or the Flying Pig on YouTube, and he's recognized that Jackson Storm in this shot has no yellow rookie stripes. So does that mean that Jackson Storm is no longer a rookie during the four to five hundred? Very, very possible. Well, actually, not possible. Definitely, because he doesn't have the rookie stripes anymore. I mean, why else wouldn't he? And of course, this is the four to five hundred because on the side you can see. F L O R, which is the first four letters of Florida 500, and I don't want to see what else it could possibly be. Have you seen the latest record storm has been setting? Have you given any thought to retire? To McQueen, okay. If you guys wonder where McQueen is in this shot, he's in Max trailer. This is my last chance. And this is my favorite line that McQueen says in the trailer. Just listen to it, okay? You just have to listen to this. Last. If I lose, I never get to do this again. So that was awesome hearing him say that. And right here you can see a shot of Mater and Sheriff tracking McQueen's speed. As you can see, it says 196. And he's trying to beat Jackson Storm's speed to win the 500, probably. And as you can see, Sheriff and Mater have a little similar that sees his speed. And he, is ra he was racing on Willie's Butte. Don't fear failure. Now, I'm going to go back to that shot. You're going to see something very interesting. Don't fear failure. Dang it. Oh my god, I can't even get to the right shot. Don't fear failure. Okay, right here. You can see Dusty right there coming off the corner. Very, very awesome. And McQueen is staring at a big 95 logo in the Rusty's Racing Center. Be afraid of not having... Now, if you guys can see right here, it actually has a Dynago 42 Cal Weathers. This is actually Cal Weathers' hauler. So, very interesting, in my opinion, and definitely awesome. McQueen is right behind it, just Damn. having that weird face. You have the chance. I used to watch you on TV. Now, this is a flashback scene of Cars 1. so fearless. I wish I knew what that felt like. <laughs> If you guys are wondering, this is at the Demolition Derby right here, and McQueen's mug gets painted off, and then everyone recognizes McQueen because there's a kid screaming out, Lightning! You know, like that. And everyone is recognized as McQueen, which is why he's just standing there in that pose. I wonder where Miss Fritter is in the shot, or Cruz. I don't really know. <laughs> And here's another new racing shout with them ready to start the race at the Motor Speedway of the South. If you look in the banner background to the RV, it does say Motor Speedway of the South. You'll never be as fast. First look at Smoke in the trailer. Very awesome to see him in a trailer. And if you look very far in the background on the left side, you can see a poster that has Doc Hudson on it. And his Fabulous Hudson Hornet look. Storm. Another new shot of Jackson passing lightning. Smarter than him. Shot demolition derby. Racing is here's I don't know what this shot would be for, but I guess McQueen and Cruz got stuck with the tractors or something. The reward. Not the stop. McQueen is drifting in this shot. Storm's chances of winning. 
radar, 95.2%. Oh my god, that was the one of the best parts of the trail. I just skipped over it as well. Wow. Come on. Right here. As you can see, there's Jackson and Storm and Chick Hicks going up to the podium. And on the side, it looks like it's at the Gears and Glory 500, sponsored by Bumper Save. Very, very awesome and nice. And I don't know why. Maybe Chick is giving Jackson Storm his trophy. Not sure. But I'm glad to see Chick Hicks in a trailer. Maybe in the next one, we'll see the King or Jeff, because we have not seen them in a trailer yet. More scenes of the Demo Derby. And that was the last new scene in this trailer besides the other one. I'm gonna try to get to it. I think you see Mater has his huge lightning bolt on the top of him. And you can see Sally, Guido, Luigi, and Sarge. And that is at the pit row in one of the races. There's Cruz with a smile on her face. Probably because McQueen's actually doing good and racing well. And there you go, guys. There is the full-length Cars 3 trailer. Very, very awesome. I just adore this so much. Definitely the best, best trailer for Cars 3 we've gotten so far. Cannot wait to see what else they have in store before the movie gets released. Like clips, and there's going to be exclusive look for Cars 3 on the Radio Disney Music Awards on Disney Channel on April 30th, I believe. So, yeah, cannot wait for that. And Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I did an overview of the Cars 3 trailer. And I will do more of clips and stuff and stuff like that. And anyway, just thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And thank you guys for all your support. And I'm almost at 400 subscribers. I'm not going to ask anyone to subscribe because I don't really want to be one of those people. But, yeah, just, I'm almost at 400 subscribers. Really awesome. Thank you guys so much for all your support. And we'll see you guys all in the next time in the next vid. Peace out.